Hi guys! Welcome back to Chan Japanese Kitchen! Last time, I made non-fried healthy tonkatsu. But maybe some of you guys want to see fried real tonkatsu, right? So today, we're gonna make sauce katsu don with fried tonkatsu, but still a little bit healthier. So, let's get cooking! Okay guys, so before we start cooking, let me explain about this dish a little bit. I know some of you guys may have heard of normal katsudon before, which is usually cooked with onions and pork cutlets, sprinkle raw eggs on them, and steam for a while. But today, we're making sauce katsudon, which is completely different thing. This dish is less common, I think, but is famous in particular parts of Japan. Okay, so let's prepare the katsu. First, Take the pork loin out of the refrigerator and leave it at room temperature for about 30 minutes. We will start with 2 cm thick cuts of pork loin for 2 servings and get rid of any moisture with a paper towel. Doing this will mean it will fry better. Next, we are going to add a few cuts down the fatty part of the meat. This will prevent it from curling up when we fry it later. Once that's done, we will sprinkle some salt on the top of our pork on both sides. Let's make it snow! Okay, now that we've seasoned both sides, we will set this aside. Another important part of sauce katsudon is finely cut cabbage. I've shown you how to do this in my previous videos, so I will just explain it quickly. Cut out the hard stalk, take out the middle part of the cabbage, fold over the outer leaves and cut. Easy, right? Now, we're going to take this cabbage and leave it to soak in water for 3-5 to five minutes. This will make our shredded cabbage more crispy. But try not to soak it too long, or you will lose some of the nutrients. Next, we're going to prepare some onion to fry too. This isn't really traditional for sauce katsudon, but I wanted to add some more vegetables to this dish. I mean, I'm going to fry it later, but I mean, I should at least try to make it healthier, right? Anyway, we will cut out the hard stem of the onion on one side first, and then we can just cut off the other end like you normally would, cut the onion in half and peel off the skin. Now, we're going to add in some wooden skewers, about 5 for half an onion. This will make it easier to turn the onion over when you fry and to coat in our breading. Then, we will cut between the skewers so our slices are roughly the same size. Now that's done, let's prepare our ingredients to fry the tonkatsu. I have 4 tablespoons of flour here and I'm going to put it through a sieve first to get rid of any clumps. Doing this will mean it spreads more evenly on our meat. But if you don't have time, you can skip it. Next, let's crack two eggs into a ball and whisk these together. Finally is the panko breadcrumbs. Let's add this into a separate ball. These are the three main things we need to coat our tonkatsu. First, let's start with the meat. Dip that in the flour and then we'll brush off any excess. You can just shake it off. I just wanted to use my fancy brush. Next, we'll dip that in the egg before adding it to our panko breadcrumbs. Make sure to really press the meat into the breadcrumbs so that the entire surface is coated. Scoop some up onto the top and press it down. We'll repeat this with our other cut of meat and then set that aside for now. Next is the onions. This is the same technique. Flour, egg and then panko. Flour, egg, panko. Super simple. Now, everything is ready to fry. Usually, tonkatsu is deep fried in a big fryer in restaurants. But maybe you guys don't want to use so much oil. So, we will just use a regular frying pan and fill it with maybe 1 cm of grapeseed oil. Let that reach about 170 degrees Celsius or 338 degrees Fahrenheit. And first we'll fry our onions. 
add those in one at a time and your oil should begin to bubble immediately if it's hot enough. We will leave those frank until we begin to see the underside start to turn a nice golden brown color. Once we see that, let's flip those over and then let that continue to fry until the whole onion is nice and golden. Now these look done. Let's move them onto a plate with a paper towel or a rack, which I totally forgot to use. Also, you may see some of our breading floating in the oil. Make sure to remove that or else it will burn while we fry the pork. Now, let's add our tonkatsu. If your pan is big enough, you can do both at the same time. And like the onions, we will let that cook until we see a nice golden color on the underside. Then we will flip this over and let this continue cooking. If you feel your tonkatsu is cooking too fast, you can turn down the heat. Everyone's cooking equipment will be slightly different. This took about 3-4 to four minutes on each side. You may adjust the cooking time if your pork is thicker or thinner than the one I'm using. Oh, look at that! Even I'm impressed by this and I'm the one who made it. When your tonkatsu looks like this, you can remove it from the oil and put it with our onions. If you rest them like this slightly standing, the oil will also drain off and runs out well. Now, this looks good enough to eat already, but wait, not just yet. We need to let it rest so it can continue cooking through inside. Maybe about 2-3 to three minutes. So while we wait, let's make our sauce for our sauce katsudon. Into a saucepan, we're going to add 100 ml of Worcestershire sauce, 1 tablespoon of ketchup, 1 teaspoon of sugar, and finally, 2 tablespoons of mirin sweet cooking sake. Give that a stir together, and we will heat this up until it begins to boil, and then turn it to a low heat. Next, let's prepare the don, part of our rice ball. I've steamed some rice here, which you can see how to make in some of my previous videos if you don't have a rice cooker. We will add that to a bowl with our drained cabbage from before. And now the main start of our show, katsu and onions. I want you to add this to our sauce from before and completely cover it. Make sure to try and get sauce all over the onion. We will do the same with our tonkatsu. Slice it up and... Okay, so the sauce katsudon is ready to eat. Mmm, I love this smell. Uh, sour and sweet. Very fantastic. When I eat fried food, I feel a little bit guilty. But today, I added the fresh cabbage and also added the onions so it's a little bit healthier let's eat it itadakimasu mm. Mm. today i fried this tonkatsu so this is very juicy and tender and also crunchy and crispy mmm I love it let's eat this onion mmm the texture of this onion is crunchy and fresh sauce tonkatsu ni wa あげた玉ねぎは入っていません。だけど私はヘルシーにしたかったので、あえて野菜を入れてみました。そうしたらものすごくシャキシャキしてて甘くて、そして
とってもこのソースとんかつがより豪華になりましたソースとんかつを作るときはちょっと邪道かもしれないんですけどこの玉ねぎ入れてみることをおすすめいたします Please try this to make at your home Last time I made non-fried healthy とんかつ But today I made fried とんかつ So If you want me to make any other fried recipes that you want me to make, please leave a comment down below. I'll make a healthier version. So, after we eat the meal, we all say. Good so, someone to stop!